This is going to be a practice problem showing a ray diagram using a concave lens. Uh, so we can see that we have our uh, image, <coughs> our object with the, uh, shown with the black arrow on the left side of your screen. Uh, we're going to draw three rays that will represent what will happen to this, uh, the image of this object as it's being uh, refracted, as it's being passed through uh, this concave lens. First of all, we need to label our back focus and our front focus. Behind the lens is our BF or our back focus. In front is our front focus uh, or the FF. As I've been doing, I erase these because they kind of get in the way of the lines that I have to draw on this. Uh, you can keep them on yours if you'd like. If it would help you, just make sure that you know which is which. The FF is in front. The BF is in back. Now we can start drawing our lines. The first line is going to be uh, a black colored line. Uh, and using uh, the rules that we know for drawing ray diagrams with concave lenses, the first line uh, that we draw goes from the object parallel to the principal axis towards the lens. So from the object parallel to the principal axis, I guess we're using orange, that's okay. From the object parallel to the principal axis towards the lens. Now once it gets to the lens, it goes out in line with the front focus. Now. Um, if we have our front focus, which is uh, this line right here, we need to use that to uh, generate our line that's going out. Remember, this is a diverging lens, so it's going to be bent uh, away from the principal axis. And so we use the same line that there would be from the front focus if we head it out in the same direction. Now, my lines might not be perfect, um, but I think that's lined up pretty well as we go in line with the front focus and we're going to go ahead and put a arrow on the end of that one because that's the one that's being transmitted transmitted through so that's the first line that we draw uh, using our rules for the ray diagrams uh, the second line this one will use a red line the second line that we're going to draw is going to go from the uh, object towards the back focal point to the lens. And so remember our back focal point is that one that I'm highlighting in blue right there. And so we're going to head towards it. So we're going to go from, oh, that's not good. Let's get my line here. I'm going to go towards it. All right, now it's not going to make there because it's going to get uh, refracted. It goes towards that back focal point. Once it hits the lens, as it's being refracted, it gets uh, sent out parallel to the principal axis. So now we have that line there parallel to the principal axis. I have an extra one in there. Let's just get rid of that extra one. And there we have our first two lines drawn. We'll put a little arrow on the end of that one. And then we need one more. Uh, the last uh, line we'll use black for the last line and uh, that one is going to go uh, from the object through the middle of the lens and the principal axis so it just goes head straight on out so right through the middle and to the other side we'll put our arrow on the end of that one now as we see our three uh, lines that are being refracted passing through the lens, they're not going to intersect on the right side of the lens. They're going to have to be taken backwards and extended back to see where they would intersect uh, on the left side. Uh, so right away we know that this is going to be a virtual uh, image because it's not intersecting uh, on the right side. It's going to be intersecting on the left. And to kind of make that a little bit more clear, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these lines that we don't have to deal with so we'll get rid of these uh, you may or may not be able to erase yours and I erase the whole thing there let's see if we can undo that and we'll we'll keep that one on there just like that because when we extend our lines backwards here 
We're going to extend our lines backwards here. We'll just use black for all of them now. Uh, this is going to be extended back in this direction. Uh, the orange one will be extended back in this direction. And what we'll end up seeing uh, is that our intersection is going to take place on this side of the lens right about right about there. And so we'll go ahead and we'll put our new arrow we'll put our new arrow right where that intersection takes place. All right, so let's describe our new uh, image. Our new image is going to be uh, first of all we said virtual Right, it's going to be virtual because it is. Um, you have to trace those lines backwards. Uh, second of all, we know it's smaller, so we're going to say that it is diminished. We'll put DIM for diminished, uh, and then it is also upright because it is in. It's in the same, has the same orientation as the original. So virtual, diminished, and upright when you have a concave lens. And what you'll notice is that when you're dealing with a concave lens, no matter where the uh, object is uh, as those uh, wa light waves are passing through the lens it's always going to be virtual diminished and upright no matter uh, how close or how far away you are from the lens.